today, guys, we'll be doing something a little different. Um, I'm going to be talking about the NBA playoffs. Um, yeah, guys, this is really going to be happening today. Um, yeah, so let's get into the video. So, literally, the Nets are pretty much unstoppable at this point. Nobody's going to stop them. It's just a matter of time until they win the finals. You know how a lot of teams say, this is our time, this is our time. Well, it is their time right now. It's becoming too easy for the Nets right now because, I mean, they're just unstoppable. If you watch a Mixie High Rose video, you know what I'm talking about. But the big three, you know, KD, James Harden, and Kyrie, if they don't get their let their egos get in the way, they should be really good. They, they'll win the championship easily if, if they don't get their e egos get, get away. Get in front of them, like... But otherwise, this team is just going to win. Um, but the Lakers might have a chance if, if, if they get two big egos. But I don't think that's going to happen because the way they're playing this season, like they've only played eight total games together this, this season before the playoffs. And that's why I think they're just going to win easily. So who's going to stop them? Let's break it down. It's all because of this guy, this guy, and this guy. Let me show you how. So, let's see this random play from the game. Now, let me show you if I was the Celtics. Remember how I told you that Joe Harris and James Harden were so important? Well, here it is. Cause, because Joe Harris is going to the corner and sending a screen for James Harden. James Harden was off off the roll and you couldn't have James Harden James Harden being guarded by Tristan Thompson because he's such a good scorer. And you can't have Marcus Smart helping out uh, helping out helping out on defense in the middle because Joe Harris is such a good shooter. So now you're in stuff in a kerfuffle and let me show you what actually happens after. There with Durant. Something to keep an eye on how these officials call this game. Kenny Ball with the call. And look, here's what they could have done. But the reason why they didn't is because of those two guys I was talking about before. Let me show you. Go back into the video. Go back in the video and see what Evan Fournier does. Then you'll see why, why those two guys so matter. And also look at Marcus Smart. Remember, this is only for... This is what I think they should do, not what they did. Let me show you the video again. Here, look. Evan Forty is so attracted to James Harden because he's such a good scorer that they can't... Then he knows that, the, that Tristan Thompson isn't going to be able to guard him by himself. Well, you might be like, well, there's Marcus Smart there. He could help out Evan Fournier, but he can't because it's essentially giving the Nets a free bucket because of Joe Harris. But, the, you know, this is just three of their, of their players who Harden, Blake Griffin, and Joe Harris. Katie and Kyrie are just sitting there off to the side, keeping the Celtic superstars out of the play. Now, Kemba maybe could have helped out here, but look look who's setting a screen, Kyrie. You have to look at the whole four for this play. Because if, if Kemba just lays off there, then the ball, the ball probably goes straight to, to KD instead of, instead of Blake Griffin. And so... This is it's just the little things that make the Nets so good. And that's just one play right in the which is only their third bucket of the game and they're already breaking down the defense where they have to make long hard decisions in 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 2 or 3 seconds. Now, I would want to break down the Lakers, but I think I'm going to go with a more interesting team to break down, the Nuggets. Now, I think this team might come out of the West. Here are my reasons why. Cuz They've got weapons. Nicole Yotris is basically a point guard, and Jamal Murray is their second point guard. And I don't know. I just feel like this team can make it because they've just got weapons, and they've got good depth. 
And they've just got a good roster overall. So And they've got some veterans. They've got a lot of stuff that, that winning teams usually have. Now, you could say the, the Jazz or the Lakers are making it, but I think... I think Mile High is going to go to the finals. So here are my final predictions for the finals. First we have out of the west, we got the Nuggets and out of the east is the Celtics. Let's go. Psych. Never mind. Um yeah. I wish that was true, but I'm going with the Nets sadly. Yeah, so those are my takes. Uh, you can like and subscribe, whatever the crap that Aubrey YouTuber tells you.